My name is Dr. E.J. Nemec, and I would like to welcome you back to our Podiatry Inc. YouTube video blog. Our last blog was on plantar fasciitis. Since that time, we've had multiple questions on what is the difference between plantar fasciitis and heel spur syndrome. Let's take a look at that now. As we mentioned the last time, plantar fasciitis is a large ligament on the bottom of the foot. And plantar means the bottom surface of the foot. Fascia is Latin for ligament. And itis means inflammation. If we draw the bones of the side of the foot, there's the heel bone. There's the bones of the midfoot. There's the long first metatarsal bone. And there's the toe. That would be the ankle bone. Starting with the heel bone, and extending to the metatarsal bone, the plantar fascia is the long ligament that joins those bones together. Conceptually, you can think of the plantar fascia as being superglued to the heel bone. Plantar fasciitis is when you begin to pull or tear the plantar fascia from its insertion in the heel, and as a result, you develop inflammation and swelling. Next, we have a condition called heel spur syndrome. These two are very similar. Again, if we draw the heel and the bones of the midfoot, the first metatarsal bone, and the toe, again, we have the plantar fascia that inserts on the heel and extends to the ball of the foot. Conceptually, again, you could think of this plantar fascia as being well adhered and super glued to the heel bone. As we mentioned above, plantar fasciitis is a ripping or tearing of the plantar fascia off of the heel. Sometimes the plantar fascia is so well adhered to the heel when it pulls and tugs on the bone, rather than ripping away, it actually causes microfractures to occur in the heel bone. The body says, hey, wait a minute, I have a broken bone here, and it turns on your bone healing cells. Bone starts to produce new bone, but because the plantar fascia is so tight and pulling in this direction, as it pulls and as the new bone forms, a heel spur forms along the plantar fascia. A heel spur is not something that sits down on the bottom of the foot and jabs you with each step that you take, though our patients feel, that's how it feels sometimes. So again, a heel spur is parallel to the ground. It does not jab you when you take a step. It is more just a bone growth as a result of the trauma caused from a, the plantar fascia pulling on the heel and the tight plantar fascia pulling that bone away from the heel as the bone tries to make new bone. So that is the difference between plantar fasciitis and heel spur syndrome. I hope that helped. We'll have more video blogs in the near future. Thank you.